start the show by seeing some world news because it's more important to know the world first. So come on guys, let's go see the news first. Welcome to 24 News TV. This is Afla. These are the international news headlines. UN Chief Ban Ki-moon to visit Sri Lanka. Mr. Ban will hold discussions with, Prince, with President Maitri Pala, Sire Sina and Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh, among others. He will deliver a speech in Colombo on the UN's global development goals. UN presidential poll campaign Hillary Clinton says Trump will make America hate again. Hillary Clinton said Thursday that Donald Trump has unleashed the radical fringe within the Republican Party, including anti Semites and white supremacists, dubbing the billionaire's business campaign as one that will make America hate again. Strong aftershocks rattle devastating earthquake in Italy. Strong aftershocks rattle residents and rescue crews. On Friday, as hopes began to dim that firefighters would find more survivors from Italy's earthquake, the first funerals are scheduled to be held for some of the 267 dead. This is Afra signing off from the 24 News TV. Thank you for watching. The 2016 Summer Olympics was held in the city of Rio in Brazil from 5th August to 21st August this year. More than 11,000 athletes from 207 national Olympic committees, including the first-time entrants of the Independent Olympic Team and the Refugee Olympic Team, took part. These were the first Summer Olympics under the IOC presidency of Thomas Bach and Rio became the first South American city to host the Summer Olympics. The United States topped the medal table for the fifth time in the past six Summer Olympics, winning the most gold medals, 46, and most medals overall, 121, while Great Britain finished second and China came third. Host country Brazil won seven gold medals, its most at any single Summer Olympics, finishing in 13th place. This year's Olympics also saw the first gold medal winners for Fiji, Kosovo, Puerto Rico, Singapore, Vietnam, and independent Olympic team from Kuwait, and also the last Olympics for legends like Hussein Bolt and Michael Phelps. In a style befitting the carnival traditions of the host city, Rio 2016 closing ceremony saw a blaze of color and musical backdrop of samba sounds, as dancers twisted and turned to form the outlines of a series of iconic Rio monuments and landmarks culminating in a multicolored depiction of the Olympic rings that gave away to the traditional parade of the athletes. Led by the Greece and host nation Brazil, the culminating with Japan, whose capital city, Tokyo, will pay host to the next edition of the Games in Rio 20, Games in 2020. Thank you. Wishing a wonderful day ahead. Um. Achilles, I am going to present you about Trivago. Trivago provides us more than 9 lakhs photos in 273 websites. Trivago provides the ideal hotel for the best price. Unlike other websites, you can compare the hotel price. Hotel Trivago. My name is Raybel and I am here from Innovative TV at Let's Tour India. I will be showing you a few places which you could visit when you go to Goa. Now it's not a season time in Goa but the best time to visit is around October to March. So come on guys, let's go have a few places which we can have a look at.
This is Fort Aguada, built by the Portuguese about 400 years ago. Well, this fort has had many significance mainly during Shivaji's time and Sambaji's time and also during British time. This is one of the oldest forts in Goa. Don't forget to visit it. This is the Tower of St. Augustine. It was built by the Portuguese during the 17th century. For some unknown reason, people abandoned the church and now the church lies here in ruins. This is the Basilica of Bom Jesus. It's one of the oldest churches in Goa. This church houses the body of St. Francis Xavier who hasn't decayed after, after death for four centuries. He has decayed a little bit but as compared to four centuries he is supposed to be reduced to skeletons but he has not. So let's go in and have a look. Over there in that coffin above those angels with some small windows lies Saint Francis Xavier. You can see a bit of his head in that head, head shape which you can have. You can, you can see over there. Let me zoom in. Ah, there we go. Can, you can see it over there. That's Saint Francis Xavier. He still has a decayed. Here we are. As we cruise along this road, you can see it's a lot rainy over here. That's why it's not a season time to visit Goa. And now, uh, uh, at this turning, uh, near this church, you should uh, find one Viceroy Gate. And there we go, that's the Viceroy Gate. It's built about four centuries ago. Now, it's one of the oldest monuments also in Goa. It's built in memory of Vasco da Gama's grandson. So just guess how old that is. That's a very long time ago, one of the most historic relics in Goa. So don't forget to visit them.
Hi friends, this is me Sanya here and we are watching Cakes and Bakes. Today I am going to show you how to make Oreo cake. It's really simple and you can try this at home too. But please post your comments and pictures on our website www.cakesandbakes.com Before we start, let's have a look at the ingredients. Okay, first what we need to do is to take this Oreo powder which we have powdered them, transfer it into a bigger bowl. Now add one cup of milk to this. Now add three tablespoons of sugar to this mixture. and add 1 by 4 uh, spoon of baking soda to this. Mix it completely till it becomes a very smooth puree. Now all we have to do is now to, now to pour this into the mold which, in which we want it to be baked. Now all that you have to do is to set it in microwave height for 5 minutes. Let's now see whether our cake is baked or not. Yes, as I said, the cake is baked now, baked now. So after it goes down, it's now ready for serving. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll meet you next week at the same time. And this is Sarina signing off from Cakes and Bakes Kitchen. Bye.